Good evening and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've shared my experiences of what it's like for me to live with autism, but I will also well, set that time to the side and switch gears and talk about things that I am passionate about because I want you guys to see who I am as a whole and I want you guys to know that I'm not a mutant. And uh, first of all, uh, you should know that I enjoy cartoons. And for those of you who don't know, I'm called the Brony or a Pegasus sister, which means that I like My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And to give you guys a little bit more about My Little Pony, uh, they brought it back about five years ago, and it was done by Lauren Faust, the same lady who created the Powerpuff Girls and Samurai Jack. And she just worked with a lot of really cool people that um, worked on Dexter's Laboratory and again the Powerpuff Girls and of course we have uh, the famous uh, character uh, Bubbles, I mean her voice actress uh, now voices Princess Twilight Sparkle in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and she's very well known and we also have Q from Star Trek he's also known as John Delancey and he plays a, a really unique character named Discord but anyway uh, for those of you Brony and Pegasister fans out there I am sure that you guys, uh, as well as uh, the show, have uh, now seen uh, the 100th episode, which aired yesterday morning sometime at, was it 10.30, 7.30 in the morning? And I caught it later last night, and I found that there were a lot of people that were impressed with the episode. And so I came back last night after getting together with uh, someone for their birthday, and of course, I saw Jurassic World last night, which was really good too. And so I was already caught up in Jurassic Park land, which means, because I'm a Jurassic Park fan anyway, but that's beside the point, that's irrelevant, I'm going off topic. So, reviews, let's see. So, I really thought that the 100th episode had started uh, off uh, a bit too rushed, and I thought, I just thought that they just threw us into the episode I mean, instead of actually, yeah, starting the show off at a nice steady pace with the main six going to a wedding, instead they went uh, straight to other background characters like, uh, for those of you who probably remember Cranky Doodle Donkey was a uh, character that uh, was ca encountered by Pinkie Pie in uh, season two and she was trying to befriend him and said, uh, he kept brushing her off because she was annoying and then he was depressed and he just didn't want to be bothered. But it was all about uh, him finding his love and they're finally going to get married. And it, I mean of course we see the main six and they're fighting this giant monstrous bear that's part bee or part wasp or part hornet or part, I don't even know, a drone? I, whatever uh, bug, it, bug it is, it's related to the bee family anyway. but. They're, they're mainly mute throughout the entire uh, episode until the very end when Twilight Sparkle gives a little commentary. But I wanted to uh, talk about it, and you guys know that we looked at the background characters and we saw, uh, got to meet uh, or get to know a little bit more of Octavia. And uh, like in the um, like in the fan videos, she played her cello, played her bass violin, and. Uh, DJ Pwn3 or Vinyl Scratch um, was into her DJing and that was really good and I found out that it was Tabitha St. Germain that voiced, uh, uh, what was her name, Octavia, while uh, Vinyl Scratch had absolutely no voice whatsoever and of course she has a voice in the fan videos and uh, she always talks about her bass cannon and uh, in uh, the, both uh, the Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks movie and this latest episode, she had no voice whatsoever. And as a fan of uh, the, the fan videos, it just, that makes me really mad because um, I would have liked to know what her voice was like. And I think that we have uh, plenty of talented actresses that probably uh, would sound like the, per the girl who voices Derpy and says, Bass Cannon! Or, uh, I don't know, but uh, otherwise uh, they did a really, really great job of making a derpy, or I mean, not derpy, but Octavia and Vinyl Scratch a canon. I mean, them being roommates or partners, definitely canon. 
And then we have had a really interesting plot with uh, Lyra and Bon Bon. And we learn that Lyra is not the girl that's into conspiracy. It's her friend bon, bon Bon. And her name isn't Bon Bon at all. It's called Agent Candy Drops. And she's actually trying to hide from the bugbear. And she's going undercover to defeat that thing. And mainly in the fan videos and in all in the, fa the fan fictions and the fan art, Lyra's the one that's, um, you know, that I don't know what you call her, but she's... Um, she's been obsessed with wanting to become a human and grow hands. And I thought that was really interesting to uh, shake it up and twist it around. And I was also glad that uh, Derpy Hooves, or uh, Derpy Hooves, or the, as they call her now, Muffins, is uh, actually friends with Dr. Hooves. But he's not really a time-traveling doctor. They're friends, and he's some sort of um, an earth pony and a scientist. But... Now, he says El Onzi, and he wears the doctor scarf, which is what Tom Baker wore back uh, when he was the fourth doctor. That was really cool. But I was disappointed to learn that uh, David Tennant did not voice Dr. Hoops, uh, like we had originally talked about. Instead, it was uh, Peter New, who also voices Big Macintosh, that, that does him. And even though he did a great job, it still would have been great to hear... Um, David Tennant as the 10th Doctor in pony form once again. Uh, other things that I thought were really, yeah, really well done were I absolutely loved Gummy's part. Now, Gummy did not open up his mouth and speak, but we discovered that Gummy is very poetic and he's a very, very deep thinker. I mean, they, yeah, they sort of did that in the fan videos and in all the fan art and in some of the fan fictions, but I was glad to see that um, Gummy, even though he was quiet and you don't hear him talking in any of the other videos, or I mean the other episodes, we discover that Gummy has a very mysterious and poetic personality. And that's what I liked about the episode, and I think that was one of my favorite parts. Um, what I didn't like, again, I thought the episode was a little bit too rushed. I think that we could have gone all out and done a... Um, a, you know, a whole hour of, a whole hour of, uh, you know, and two, two complete episodes of season, or I mean, completely two episodes of the 100th episode, because, the, you know, there's just so much out there. I, I think it would have, uh, you know, really given the episode a little something more, and especially with all the background ponies. Now, what I did like, again, I am glad that they gave, uh, Octavia a voice and I'm glad that I was able to um, I was I'm glad that I was able to see that La, uh, Lyra and Bon Bon have names and that uh, the voices of Applejack and Rainbow Dash and Pinky and Fluttershy voice Lyra and Bon Bon. Um, I wasn't as crazy about uh, Tabitha, Tabitha St. Germain doing the voice of uh, of Octavia but I did I was in love with Derpy's voice and mind you, as you guys know, I mean, we all call her Derpy, but because of all the conflicts and, you know, a, you know, an egg, arrogant and ignorant mothers wanting to complain and ruin things for people because they're miserable women, um, they want, they they wanted to do away with the Derpy name because they thought they thought that Hasbro Studios was making fun of the disability community, and so the name Derpy went away and her first voice went away. So now she's not derpy anymore because derpy you know, has a very insulting derogatory term. And now we have her name is officially Muffins. I think Muffins is cute, but to me and the rest of uh, the brony community, she will always be derpy. So anyway, uh, for those of you that are tuning in for the very first time and for those of you that, uh, that are brony and Sister fans, do not forget to comment below and let me know what you think. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. And one more thing, uh, if you want to learn more about autism, please be sure, please do not forget to subscribe and share this. Thank you.